Okay, before we get started, you'll need two video tracks. So to add one, right click on your V1 track and go to Track Operations, Add Video Track. Now drag the video you'd like for the left side of your split screen onto the bottom video track. And drag your other video above it onto the top video track. All right, next make sure your top video clip is selected on the timeline and go over to Filters. Click the plus button to add a filter and then type crop into the search box. Select the crop source filter to add it to your clip. Then click the plus button again, and this time type position into the search box. Select the size, position, and rotate filter to add it to your clip. Okay, next let's select the crop source to bring back up its settings. And in here, you'll want to set the right to half your video's horizontal resolution. So if you're working with a 1920 by 1080 video like me, you just set the right to half of 1920, which is 960. I actually like how this crop looks right away, but if you want a different part of this video cropped, you need to adjust the left value as well. The only thing you need to keep in mind is that the left and right values together need to add up to 960 if you want your video to be exactly half of the screen. But to keep things simple, I'm just going to reset my left to zero and put my right back at 960. All right, next let's select our size position rotate filter. For this, all we need to do is change the horizontal fit to right. My split screen is already looking pretty good, but you might want to adjust the part of your left video that's in the frame. To do this, select your bottom video clip on the timeline, then click the plus button in the filters tab and search for position. Select the size position rotate filter to add it to your clip. For this, just click the down arrow on the position's first value to move your video to the left until the part of it you want is in the frame. This can be kind of slow though, so you might want to enter a number manually to speed it up. But yeah, that's all for this tutorial, so as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.